everyone, this is Doris from the Art Nature Center and today I'm going to show you how to make some tide pool critters like this crab and this periwinkle snail out of recycled little takeout sauce containers. So here is my crab. I've used the plastic container for his body and then for the claws and the legs I used a paper tube. Today I'm going to make a jellyfish. So I've got my plastic container and I've got some paint here. I'm gonna pour some paint onto this plate and then I'm gonna paint the inside of my plastic container. Not the outside, but the inside. Since it's clear, it will show through the plastic, just like that. Now jellyfish are harder to find in tide pools, but sometimes you'll see them washed up on the beach. And something important about, if you ever see a jellyfish washed up, is to never touch it because they can sting you and it can make you really sick or really in pain depending on what kind of jellyfish it is. So never pick up a jellyfish. So here, I'm gonna let this sit for a minute so it can dry. I think I'm gonna paint this one too, the big one, with the same color. I don't know what it'll be yet, but I like this blue. There we go, and since you can see the brush strokes, I'm trying to use long, straight lines. And this last one I want to make green. So I'm going to put a little bit of green, put this brush in the water, and use a different brush for the green. And you'll notice this paint has a little less pigment in it than the blue one, so it's harder to see. But I can build that up with a couple coats. So I'll let this one sit while I move on and work on the others. Now I'm going to decide how to cut my pieces out of my paper tube. So I'm going to cut some straight lines here. I'm always being careful of where I have my fingers whenever I'm cutting. I'm just gonna cut the whole thing into strips for this one. Well, maybe not, I'll leave these here. And now I wanna paint my details here. I'm gonna put a little green and blue on these because I think that will look nice. but I do like to paint after I cut them out because if it's wet with paint when I use the scissors, that will hurt the scissors. And if you don't want to do it in your hand like this, you can put down a paper towel or something and paint it on top of that. Like this. Paint all the bottoms and all the tops. All right, now that I have all those painted, I'm gonna go ahead and do my second coats on my little cups, because I think they should be a little drier now. And this will just make the color a little deeper. Looks pretty good to me. And I'm going to use a little bit of hot glue on each arm, and then I'm gonna gently press it against the inside of my cup here. You want to be really careful because hot glue can burn you. So I'm not holding the glue. I'm holding the cup and the paper until it sets up a little bit. Tacky glue can work. It needs to be a thicker, stickier glue because plastic doesn't stick to things very well. And one thing about hot glue and plastic containers is it can melt the container a little bit. So try and use it on the cool setting if it has a cool setting. You can use gravity to help you. I've switched to putting the glue on the plastic and then setting my tentacle on top. It's a little bit easier. And then I'm gonna let it sit for a minute so it can dry. And now I have a beautiful jellyfish, but I'm gonna give the tentacles a little bit of texture by folding them. You can bend them any which way. And there is my jellyfish. Pretty cool, huh? So if I wanted, I could poke a hole through the top here and then I could thread some string through it and let it hang in a window or just from the ceiling somewhere. And then let's make this green one into something as well. Second coat on the green. And I'm gonna make this into a green rock crab. Adding a second coat to make it a little brighter. Beautiful. Now these larger pieces, I can cut into little claws, just like I did for this one. But I'm gonna cut a little triangle out of the front with my scissors. And then I'm gonna curve 
around and make a straight line and that will define that claw shape. And do the same thing on this side, start with my straight line instead. Curve around and that is a little claw. Do the same thing here. Crabs usually have a bigger claw and a littler claw, so it's okay if your claws are not exactly the same size. And I'm gonna paint them the same color as the shell here, this nice green color. Crabs are not always red. Sometimes they're green, brown, there are even blue crabs. And then the legs, you cut straight lines just like for the jellyfish. And these back legs are usually a little bit shorter and wider than the front three. Now I'm gonna cut those legs. So those are the second and third leg. These will be those first legs. These will be those back legs. Now I'm gonna paint the legs. And since they're gluing underneath the body, I don't have to paint all the way to this edge where I'm holding it. Now it is time for the gluing for this crab. So the claws go on top of the body. Just be careful when you're holding it down because it can be hot. Kind of on the opposite side, but close to the front. And this is where I'll draw the face on, right here behind those claws. Now I can glue on all the feet. I'm gonna glue them so they're hanging down and then bend them, just like we bent the jellyfish. All right, these ones that went on first, I can start bending. My second little crab has fallen apart a little bit, but the idea is to get each piece glued on just like this, and then your crab can stand. I hope you all really liked this project. I sure did, especially this jellyfish. And I'm gonna work on this crab and see you next time. Have a great week. Bye-bye.